Namaskar, welcome to my new vlog. So for the breakfast, I am making a special item called as Masrana or curd rice. First, we will make a simple tempering. First, we require some coconut oil, some cashew and groundnut. Roast it very well. After that, we need to add mustard, green chilli, red chilli, jeera, little bit of urad dal and chana dal. So, some curry leaves as well. So, this is your tempering. After that, cool it very well. As per your rice and curd, you need to add this. See, this is the homemade curd along with some rice, cooked white rice, which is need to be arrested. Like this, after that, add salt, curd and rice and assemble it very well. The main flavor and answer here is the tempering and uh, the rice curd and do not add any water rice curd should come together so it will be a creamy bite so the tempering is perfectly cooled now let's mix it and add some chopped coriander leaves let's taste this so it was very good uh, number one point main is the texture the curd and the rice should combinely uh, combine very well mainly the tempering you can also add esophytid or hing to it and some cucumber and pomegranate if you require next is the freshness of the green chilli and coriander leaves mainly the tempering gives it a strong flavor and you can also modify it by adding bhundi or that uh, something called uh, that ginger like that you can add and from continuous 3 to 4 days, it is raining heavily and you can also hear the voice of a peacock as well. And right there, those are the grass of ragi and jowar for the cow. Which we uh, just soak it in water and then throw the seeds. It will automatically, as it's the rainy season, it will automatically sprout and then plant. And right now we are seeing some tulsi leaves. So this is a tulsi garden and there uh, there is a krishna tulsi and a long leaf tulsi which the leaves is very big. These are the shorter ones. So we use this tulsi for puja and for offering to the god and also to make uh, Ayurvedic um, Kasayam. So I have shown you a Tulsi tea recipe in my YouTube channel. Uh, do watch that. So it was a very nice tea. Mainly that lemon jaggery uh, gives it a flavorful uh, taste along with the medicinal, medicinal benefits of Tulsi. And one thing you can uh, make it in another way uh, you can uh, sun dry it after that you can make powder and after that you can make uh, tulsi tea as well we'll try that in the upcoming videos for the lunch we have red rice this is the red boiled rice which is called as kajayaki in Kannada and I have made a special chutney this is the mango chutney the pickled mango water is kept below to prevent it from spoiling very simple chutney yet flavorful coconut salt green chilli coriander leaves and mango we have here a monsoon special dish called as the hurulikalu sambar or the horse gram sambar with the garlic tempering that horse, ka, uh, that horse gram sambar is simple but that um, garlic tempering gives it uh, all the body and soul. Along with that we have a simple tomato chutney mainly that garlic flavor plays a crucial role in flavoring that tomato chutney because we add some uh, garlic to the tempering. So I watched a YouTube video where uh, how we can uh, turn a wet note into a perfect dry one. So first we need to wet them. You can also use this uh, life hack when your uh, note is uh, wet during the rainy season. 
apply this first we will wash it very well and don't try this at home if you are uh, notice wet due to rain then you can try this then in the video it is mentioned that take a double boiler so i am also making some jeera uh, water or the jeera kasayam or the jeera tea anything it is same uh, just some jeera and water so we will create a double boiler and take the help of your parents while uh, using this and do not uh, uh, use in the direct flame or in the direct heat it will lead to burning of the notes like this uh, keep it in a double boiler below there should be a vessel and there should be rice or milk or water cooking after that keep a above plate or a bowl so it will be double boiling do not boil it in a single or direct uh, boiling method and like this both the side one one minute each we need to rest it See like this now it has been 50% dry like this keep it uh, both the sides here uh, two in one uh, work is done one the jira water and another the note experiment and after that in the video it is mentioned that rest it under the fan for five minutes to remove some excess moisture so now it is completely dry and as you can see it is perfect so this trick worked so i am planning to uh, make more uh, uh, like these types of videos like life hacks trying the uh, different different food combination so let's see in the future videos so that's it for today's video i hope you liked this video let us meet in the next video please subscribe my channel bye bye